Hello everyone. Uh, it didn't give start. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome again. This is now competence three, and the title is being good and then no a jam. Being good and then no a jam is your family well. Being good means family. Okay. I'm recording competence two part two and competence three in the same day. Just a few hours difference yeah uh, one second let me close the door sorry guys those are my roommates okay it's five o'clock actually here 5 a.m. here in Malaysia anyway being good and no a jump uh, welcome again, as I said. So let's get started. Being uh, no ijam is your family. Well, being means family. Okay, being means family. Okay, minyang ang bubakar, my little brother bubakar. Minyang means little brother, and we will see later the uh, the whole family and you know each one dad. How to say dad? How to say mom and all that. Ko Ko minyang an ni. Ko hamuni. Who is this? Okay, the girl is asking. Who is this? Who is this person in the picture, in the frame? Ko minyang an ni. Ko hano inete. It looks very funny, this brother. Ko hano inete. Ko bubakar o inete. Ko meng nene gotobe. Ko meng nene gotobe. We will see what is. What does Nene Gotobe means? What does Baba Gotobe means? Of course, you you remember Nene. Nene means mom. Now, Nene Gotobe, what does it mean? We will see later. Okay? Ko Bubakar o Inete. His name is Bubakar. Ko Dubi Jelu Omari. How old is he? Ko Dubi Nogai Omari. He is 20 years old. Ko Hondung o Gollata. What is his job? Ko O Janno. He is a teacher. Kuminira benjelo maruda. How many uh, all uh, how many little siblings do you have? Kuminira betato mi mari. I have three little siblings in general. Okay, so that was about uh, the little brother of this girl. Okay, bubaka. Now let us see about the family, the whole family. Okay, so being ang. We start with ming. Uh, she is, it's a girl talking. Ming, Ming, uh, her. But she is saying me, of course. She is talking about her family, so me. Uh, where do we start with? Uh, okay, here. Baba Ang, my dad. Nene Ang, my mom. Minyang Ang, my little sibling. Minyang only, little sibling. But of course, here it's a, a girl, so my little sister. Minyang ang, my little brother. So both of them, the plural, minyirabe ang, my little siblings. Minyirabe ang. Okay, here you don't, you know, the, the, the gender is not precise. She did not talk about the gender. But the context, or you can also add minyirawo ang gorko, minyang ang gorko, minyang ang debo, ma minyang ang jiwo. Okay, so let me open Notepad, guys. Uh, notepad. Okay. So, to make... So, me... Uh, minyang, let me pri write it like this. Minyang ang jiwo. Okay. My little sister. If you add jiwo, minyang ang gorko. Minyang ang gorko. My little brother. Okay, you can add Jiwo and Gorko to differentiate. But Minyang Ang just means uh, uh, if the person shows you his sister and say Minyang Ang, you know it's definitely sister because you're seeing. <laughs> so, so, but Minyang Ang in, in general means little sibling. Okay? Uh, Koto Ang, my older brother. Jaja Ang, my older sister. For this one is precise. Jaja ang, my older sister. Koto ang, my older brother. Okay? And here, Kau ang, my uncle. Kau means the brother of the mom. The brother of the mom. 
Okay, so her mom definitely has two brothers. Kawang, Kawang. Now, the brother of the the father is Bapa, Bapang, Bapa. So there's a brother of the the brother of the dad, the uncle, paternal uncle is Bapa, maternal Kau, Kau, Bapa. Why did they make it him so angry? So angry. <laughs> yaye, yaye ang, yaye. It should be e here, I think. Yaye, yaye ang means my auntie. Okay, my auntie. Yaya. Now, soro ang. My uh, my grandfather. Pati ang my grandmother. Soro ang, pati ang also same. But too precise to make it more pre uh, to to show that I'm talking about my mom's dad. I can say soro ang kanene. Pati ang kanene. Ka nene. Meaning my grandpa on the mother's side. My grandma on the mom's side. Okay? I can add uh, pati ang kanene. Okay? Uh, grandma on mom's side. On mom's side. Okay, the same. Soro uh, ang kababa, kababa. Okay, uh, grandpa on that side. That's that. Okay, so pati ang kanene, pati ang kababa. Soro ang pati ang bapa ang yaya ang nene ang kau ang kau ang koto ang jaja ang minyang ang minyang ang minyirabe ang minyirabe. Minirabe ang my uh, sibling, my little sibling. If it's uh, you, if 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 she happened to have two older brothers, koti rabe ang, koti koti rabe ang, jaji rabe ang, jaji rabe ang. Okay, koti rabe ang, mini rabe ang. Okay, same writing. You take koti, you add rabe, ja jaji. Jaji Rabian. Okay? Same writing. Exactly the same. Now, Benguri Sellu. Now, Sellu's family now. Sellu is this man. Sellu is a, is a famous uh, first name in the, in, in, in the Fulbe community. Sellu. Okay? So, Sellu. So, Sellu, Bengumako. Sellu has a wife. Bengumako. His wife. Okay? Bengumako, he has two wives. So, Bengumako, Bengumako, his wife, his wife. Okay? Bidomako, his child. Bidomako, his child. Bidomako, his child. Uh, Bidomako, Bidomako, also. Now, okay. Ah, okay, these are the children of this woman, and these are the children of this one. So, the children of the same mother are called Nene Gotobe. Nene Go to be. They are. They share the same mom. The children, the children who share, who don't share the same mom, but share the same dad. Say Lou is their dad. So I call Baba go to be. Baba go to be. Baba go to be. Nene go to be. Okay. Okay. Now let us look at. Uh, okay. Now the parents of Selu's wife are called. Uh, this is Baba being Marco. Uh, his his uh, wife's dad, Nene Bengumako, his wife's mom. Now, the, the family, the in-laws are called Esirabe, the in-laws. Esirabe, Esirabe Mako, Esirabe Mako. They are the in-laws of Selu, the in-laws of Selu. His in-laws, Esirabe Mako. You remember Mako, the pronouns? And all the, uh, we will see them, uh, the positive pronouns. Now, Kini Rabe Mako, these are the children of the parents in law. Okay, Kini Rabe Mako. Okay, Kini Rabe Mako. Now, uh, uh, Selu. Uh, Oh, 
Okay, this is the wife of the brother of Selu. So, Kainang Mako. Okay, Kainang Mako. She is the Kainang of Selu. Okay, this is Selu's brother, Koto Mako. And this is the, wa uh, the wife of his brother. So, she is his Kainang, Kainang Mako. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's see some cultural notes. Family term terminology. The words, sorry. The words brother, father, mother, uncle are applied loosely in full base society. Exactly. Anyone, basically anyone older than you, you can when you call someone koto, it does not necessarily mean uh, older brother. It can mean your a cousin who is older than you in age, you can call him koto, uh, or even a, a, a far relative that is older than you. He is not he is not your. He cannot be your dad in age, but he's just a little bit older than you. So you call him Koto. So, Amanu's brother may in fact be his half brother, his cousin, a distant relative, someone from the same village, or just a good buddy, a good buddy who is a good buddy. So all of this can mean brother. So you are the one who needs to ask the question to see whether or not it's his real brother. Basically, in, in Fulani culture, because it's a culture which uh, puts a lot of emphasis on, on respect, on deference, on, uh, you know, respecting someone older than you. Anyone older than you, you should call him by the word koto. For example, me, me uh, anyone older than you, whether he's in the same blood, shares the same blood or not. So my sisters, my little sisters, they have to, they cannot address me by my name, Lamin, only. Lamin, only. They have to say koto Lamin. I mean. If I had a sister, her name maybe is Aisha. I, I don't have a sister, but if I had, I would call her Jaja Aisha. I would not call her Aisha. I cannot. I should not address her by her name. That's impolite in in, in our culture. Okay. So if I have also another, even not is not my sister, like a like a female cousin, which is uh, who, who is older than me, I will call her Jaja. Okay, Jaja. It's a female cousin. She is older than me. I will call, I have to call her that. Or if I see someone from the same village or, or relative, I will call her Jade. If she can, she is old enough to be my auntie, I will call her, uh, where is it? Yaye. 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 It should be E here. Yaye. Yaye. I will call her Yaye. Or uh, I can call her Nenang. We did not see what is the auntie on mom's side. It means the sister of your mom. You can call you, it's also called nene. Now, to put an emphasis for the sister of the mom, you can say nene tosoko, little mom. Nene to, to, uh, tosoko, nene tosoko. Okay, you can say other uh, little mom. Okay, or just nenang, nenang something. So, nenang Aisha, nenang Salimata, nenang, you know. Nenas, whatever the name, you understand. So, so if you want to establish the exact genealogical relationship, you need to ask specific questions. Do you have the same mother, etc., etc. Okay, okay. Uh, now let's look at some vocabulary. So, Baba is the father. Nene, mother. Beng, father, uh, respectful. Yumma, mother, respectful. So. I can say ko nene ang. I can say ko yumang. Yumang is more, more respectful again. Is more like lovely. It's really shows a deep. It's more. It's deeper. Yumma, yumma, ko yumma. If I can, if I introduce you to my mom, I can say ko nene ang. It's my mom. Ko yumma ang. It's my mother. It's my. You know. I. You know. It, I don't know even how to explain this. But the, uh, of the offer puts respectful, it's more respectful. Koyumang, kobengang, koyumma. Okay, I can say kobabang, kobengang, kobabangang, kobabang, etc., etc. Kobabengang, many ways, many ways. But just get baba, kobabang. Okay, Bem Maudo is the father's older brother. The older brother of your dad, you call him Bem Maudo. Or Baba Maudo. You can say Baba Maudo. You can say Bem Maudo. Okay? Bem Maudo. Or Baba Maudo. Bapa 
Bappa, we saw it here. Uh, where is it? Bappa is the little brother of your dad. Bappa is the little brother of your dad. The older brother is Bam Maudo. Okay? Baba Maudo. You can say Baba Maudo or Bam Maudo or Bam Maudo. You can say, it can be, you can say Baba, you can say Beng, you can say Bam, like Baba Maudo. Sometimes it's shorter than say Bam Maudo. Okay? Minyang means younger brother or sister, younger sibling. Koto, older brother, Jaja, older sister. Kawu, mother's brother, Bapa, father's younger brother. Yaye, father's sister, exactly, it's an E. Huh? Yaye, father's sister. Soro, grandfather, Pati, grandmother. Bingu, wife, Modi, husband. Kainang, older sister's husband. Or wife's younger brother. Okay, older sister's husband, as we... The older sister's husband mm, or wife's younger brother. Exactly. These are the siblings of your wife. So they are your K nirabe because it's a plural. Ko K nirabe ang. Okay? Ko K nirabe ang. K nirabe ang. If it's one person, ko K nang ang. These are the what? The older, oh, uh, where are we? The older, where are we? All the sister, or all the sister's husband, or wife's younger brother, okay, or wife's younger brother. All the sister's husband, or wife's younger brother. Esirao, in law, okay. Esirao mean in law. Nene goto, full sibling. We are you are the same mother or same father. Baba goto, half sibling. You are same father but different mothers. Sina means a kowai. Okay, like this two. Odo ko sina odo. Odo ko be sina be. They are kowais. Ko be sina be. Okay. Uh, where are we? Mm. Tanira. Tanira means grandchild. Kotani rawa ang. This is my grandchild. Kotani rawa. Okay? Maube means parents. All the relatives also. Okay? All the relatives. Maube ang. Bido, child. Okay? Son, daughter. Nephew also. The, the, for example, the, 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 the son of your brother is also, you can call it Bido ang. Kobido ang. Kobido ang. Okay? Kobido ang. So your son, your daughter, and your nephew. Gorejo means your age mate. The person you share approximately this. Either the same, exact same age or same generation. Gorejo. Bengure. The nuclear family. Bengure. Bengure is the nuclear wives and children. Musidal is the extended family. Musidal ngal. Bengure ndeng. The nuclear family. Musidal ngal. The extended family. Musido. Or sido is the relative, a relative, musido. Njatigi is a friend or a lover. If a woman says uh, to you, this is odo, odo, this person, odo, konjatigi joang, this person is, njatigi can mean friend, friend or lover. If, if the other person is a male, then we would understand that it's his it's her lover okay it's her lover mm, actually in the culture is it it's not a like of, of it's not well seen like a female uh, uh, a pull a pull a woman debbo pull debbo pull si inni odo ko njati gi jo ang if a fulani if a pullar woman if a pull a woman says this is my njatigi. If it, if that person is a man, uh, people will not see it as something positive. You understand? I'm I'm talking now. Uh, if it's a if it's a woman, then we will see it as a friend. But whenever if you see, because there is nothing as female, uh, female men uh, friendship really the way that in the West it's understood. And the, so whenever you say this is my friend. If it's, if it's a person of the opposite sex, 
then it's seen whether you are saying that uh, whenever you say this is called Ogonyati uh, Gijuang, you are saying like a lover. This is my lover. So it's not well seen, it's not positively seen. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not positively seen by other people. Of course, uh, you are not forced to to make people like you. You can, if you, if really it's your friend, you can say it's your friend. But people in general will understand it when you when you use the word "njatiki" for the person of the uh, sex. It's not well seen. Gido now gido gido gido. I prefer okay. You can use the word gido. Gido means a beloved person. So kodo ko gido ang. So gido also can mean lover. Ko gido ang ko gido ang means my beloved. So Gido can mean friend, but also uh, Gido, a uh, friend, a beloved person, a person who is beloved to you. Gido, ko Gido ang, ko Gido ang, that can mean friend or love also, mean a person beloved to you, beloved to your heart. Okay. Uh, okay. Intro some introductions. Okay, the grammar behind these structures is explained on page 36. So we will not get back get to the grammar. We just uh, try to memorize these uh, these these phrases. Kohomboni, who is that? Kohomboni, kosaliuni. This is saliu. Saliu is the name of a man. Kokoto anni. That is my older brother. Kohomboni, kokoto anni. Kohomboni ko jaja anni. This is my older sister. Kohomboni ko minyang anni. This is my little sibling. Kohomboni ko nene anni. This is my mom. Kohomboni ko baba anni. This is my dad. Kohomboni ko 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 ne ko 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 yaya anni. This is my auntie. Okay. Kohomboni, who is that? And then you answer right. This is this. This is this. This is that. Ko minyira benjelo maruda. How many? Kominira benjelo. We will see. Okay. Kominira benjelo maruda. How many younger siblings do you have? Kominira be tato mi mari. I have three young siblings. Kudu bi jelu maruda. How old are you? Kudu bi jelu maruda. Njelo is the counting of people. Jelu is the counting of things. Okay. Kudu bi jelu maruda. Kudu bi no gai eje tati mi mari. I am 28 years old. Kudubi no guy means 20. Age 20 and 8. 20 and 8. Okay. I am 28 years old. Kudubi Jilu Omari. How old is he? Kudubi Sapo Ego Omari. Sapo Ego Omari. Go O. Adamahawa Kodjaja Ang. Adamahawa is my older sister. Jariatu ko bengu yunusa. Jariatu is yunusa's wife. Jariatu ko bengu yunusa. Aisha ko bengu lamin. Uh, Ummu hawa ko bengu etc. Uh, John ko modi safiata. Saliu ko modi aisatu. Modi, Modi, you remember what Modi means? Modi means husband. Okay? Now let us go to the numbers now. When counting people instead of things or animals, the numbers are different in Pula. American Betato, three Americans. Dubi, Tati. You cannot say Dubi Tato. Don't say these people will laugh at you. <laughs> you cannot say Dubi Tata. Dubi uh, Tato. You say Dubi Tati. Yimbe tato. When you are counting yimbe, yimbe means people. When you are counting yimbe, si da limu de yimbe, si da limu de yimbe, when you are counting people, si da limu, limu de. To count means limugol. Limugol to count. Limugol. Limugol to count. Okay? Limugol to count. Si da limu de. Si da limu de yimbe. Ko tato inata naya naya imu tati. American be tato. American be njowo. Five. American be jego. 
américain be sap dubi tati dubi tati dubi nayi dubi joy dubi jego for that it, uh, for jego it's the same Three years, okay. Similarly, the words for how many are different. American and yellow, how many Americans? Yellow for the people and yellow for the things. Okay, okay. Now let's count together. One is go for the things, the animals. Go for the people. Go to American. You go to. Okay, go for one. Idi. I, idi, idi, idi. I don't know if you see me properly. I cannot see my face here. Uh, idi, ido, idi, ido. Tati, tato, nai, nayo. Jovi, jo, jego, jego, the same. Jedidi, jedido, jetati. J tato, J nai, J nayo, sappo, sappo, sappo ego, sappo ego, sappo e didi, sappo e ido. Ko faranse e ngelo, how many French people? Ko faranse e be sappo ego, ko faranse e be sappo e ido, 12 French people. How many French people? 12 French people, I will say sappo e dido instead of saying sappo e didi. Okay, so for 13, of course, it will be sappo e tati, 14, sappo e nai, etc. etc. You just follow this pattern. Okay, 19, sappo e je nai, sappo e je nai. Now for 20, no guy, no guy, no guy ego, no guy ego. You keep the same pattern. Now for 30, it will be chapan de tati. Chapan de tati. Chapan de tato for people. Chapan de tati ego. Chapan de tato ego. Chapan de tati idi. Chapan de tati edido. Oh, sorry. Chapan de tato e, 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 edido. Chapan de uh, tati e, 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 e. Chapan de tati e tati. <laughs> Sorry, chapan de tati e tati, chapan de tato e tato, for the people, chapan de tati e nai, chapan de tato e nayo, and you keep. Now for 40, chapan de nai, 50, chapan de joy, 60, chapan de jego, 70, chapan de je didi, 80, chapan de je tat, chapan de je tati, 90, chapan de je nai. Okay, and same, chapan de nayo. For the 40, 40, for the people, okay? The numbers from 100 up are on page 56. Okay, the word one has many different forms, exactly. This is the counting form. If there is a noun attached to the number one, one sheep, one rock, there is a different form for each noun class, and we will see it in, on page number two. We will see later. Go. We will see there's go, there's go to, there, there are many forms, and we will see later. Okay, this is an interesting proverb here. You can read it for yourself. What a bo, what a bobo tihu, how jangala, koko, koko kumaida, the calf bobo tihu, the calf shouldn't be in a hurry to grow horns, gala, gala means horns, gala means horn, or horns, he'll have them until he dies. Okay? The calf shouldn't be in a hurry to grow horns. He will have them until he dies. This is self-explanatory, a little bit. Uh, maybe it, it, I think it just means like uh, to be patient in life and so on. Uh, I think that's what it means. Yeah, I guess it's it looks very self-explanatory. Maybe there are some hidden meanings to it, but from what I've gotten on the outside, it means it just teaches us teaches us patience. Okay, uh, let us go to the grammar. Okay, now, very interesting now. The possessive pronouns. 
The possessive pronoun follows the noun. Kwa baba ang ni. Kwa baba ang This is my father. Okay? Instead of saying my father, is it, we say this is father my. <laughs> this is father, that is father my. So it follows the noun. It can be replaced by a person's name. Kwa baba amaduni. That is Amadou's father. Kwa baba Johnny. That, that is John's father. Kwa nene. Safiyatani, that is Safi's, um, uh, Safi's, my sister's name is Safi. That's why I always repeat in Safi, Safiyata, her name. That's why I'm always repeating my, my other sister's name also is Aisha. So I have Aisha, my, um, the one after me is so the Zainab, Safiyata, Aisha, uh, Marama, uh, Marama, and Husayna, Husaynatu. Hasanatu, sorry. Hasanatu. I confused with someone else. Um, Zainab or Jainabu. Safiata. And so on. Okay. Uh, that is Amadu's father. Kobaba Amadu ni. Komodi Safiata ni. That is Safiata's husband. Ko, kobengu Markani. That is Mark's wife. Okay, so same pattern. Kobaba and me, that is my father. The table to the right shows all the pronouns we've seen so far. So, Ming, oh, uh, sorry. Uh, so, we've seen the subject pronoun, me, a, o, eng, meng. Eng, eng, meng, you remember? Inclusive, exclusive, ong, and be. Eng, uh, uh, eng is when the person you are talking to is. Uh, 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 is included and meng is when the person uh, uh, is not included. The person you are talking to is not included. We show this in competence 2 part 2. You can go and rewind the video. Independent, we, we, we saw it also. Now possessive, ang, ma, makko, meng, ameng, moong, mape. Ang, ma, makko, meng, ameng, moong, mape. Okay? Uh, the positive pronoun follows the noun. Uh, where are we? The, pronoun, the pronouns ang, ma, meng, and ameng are particularly hard to keep straight because they sound like other pronouns. Two of these pronouns, meng and mong, have lengthened forms as well, we will see. Okay? Which, which are perhaps more insistent. Meng. So you can say meng, you can say meng. You can say mong, you can say mong. You can say baba meng. Baba meng. So it's more insisting on the fact that it's our father. Baba meng, baba meng. Baba mong, baba mong. Okay, you can say meng, mong. It's the same. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, we will go to the exercise. Keywords. War. The little word war has a number of uses. One is to precede uh, reported speech. Exactly. Andy to Binta. Miwawata Pular. I don't speak Pular. Binta will tell that thing to Cherno and say, War, he says, Owawata Pular. He doesn't speak. So here the war is to report the speech. War, he says. He says. The, ori the original speaker may be definite or it may be vague as in they say or I heard. So here they say he has 20 children. So here it's the impersonal. They say. People say. Okay? They say he has 20 children. Okay? People say. Okay. Write out the following numbers in Pulak. So for this you can just uh, uh, look at the look at the numbers here and then uh, do it yourself. Okay, chapan de tati e tati. This is chapan de nai e tati. Idi, chapan de tati e nai. Chapan de je tati e joi. No gai. Okay. Uh, copy, continue all this. It's just, you just have to follow here. And, and do it. It's, it should be very straightforward, right? How's the wife and kids? 
uh, write out greetings based on the following model, then translate into English. Be sure to use the appropriate pronoun, himo or hibe, based on the level of respect. Okay. Exactly, himo, hibe. We will see. Benguma, honno benguma wadi. How is your wife doing? Ko honno benguma wadi. You can, honno also, you can just keep it short. No. You can say no benguma wadi. You can remove this and say no, no bengu mawadi, hon no bengu mawadi, no bengu mawadi, hon no, so hon no, you can shorten it, just say no, no bengu mawadi, how is your wife doing? Himo e jang, she is well, himo e jang, she is well. So himo here, because the guy is talking to his wife, so there is no uh, def, should not like, no reverence, deference, I don't know how we call it, that he, so it's his wife. Himo ejam. But if I say, Kohonno nene mawadi, how is your mom doing? He will say, Hibe ejam. He will most likely say, Hibe ejam. He cannot say, he should not at least, he should not say, Hibe ejam. He, he, uh, sorry, he should not say, Himo ejam, talking to his, about his mom. That would be very impolite. He should say, Hibe, Hibe, Hibe ejam. Okay, she is doing well. She is well. Maubema. So here Maubema. Ko honno. O honno Maubema wadi. Wadi. Honno Maubema wadi. Honno Maubema wadi. Honno Maubema wadi. Hibe e jang. So Minyama, it should be himo or hibe? Minyama. It should be what? For number three. Minyama. It should be himo. Himo e jang. Aisatu. Aisatu. Should be him. I said, well, maybe it's his sister or Aisha too is the equivalent of Aisha. Aisha. Aisha of the Arabic Aisha. It's a famous name in Arabic. So to get until become Aisha too. Aisha too and Aisha are the same name. Uh, uh, um, so Aisha too? No. Aisha too, what would you say here? You will say, Honno Aisha too. Wadi. Honno Aisha too. Wadi. Or kohonno aisatu. You can add the ko also. Kohonno aisatu wadi. You can say just say also no. No aisatu wadi. No aisatu wadi. No aisatu wadi. Aisatu. You can answer for B. You can say aisatu no ejam. Aisatu no ejam. Aisatu no ejam. Aisatu no ejam. Okay. Nene Suleiman. Okay. Honno nene Suleiman wadi. Nene Suleiman. No ejam. Bengurema no wadi. Bengurema no wadi. O honno bengurema wadi. Bengure deng no ejam. Bengure ang no ejam. Or I can just say, or, or, or just say, hibe ejang. Hibe ejang. Okay, hibe ejang. Actually, here you can just use the pronouns instead of nouns, okay? So himo ejang or hibe ejang. Just use himo ejang. Or hibe jang, okay? Himo or hibe. Uh, don't, uh, don't, uh, no need to put the names. Replace it with the pronouns directly. Himo e jang, hibe e jang. Himo e jang for Aisatu. Nene Suleiman, definitely we say. Nene, Sule, Nene Suleiman, uh, here me, uh, means uh, Mother Suleiman. So Mother Suleiman can, is, can be his, uh, the sister of his uh, mom. Nene Suleiman, as I said, the sister of the mom also you call Nene also. The sister of the mom. The sister of the dad is what? You remember? Yaye. Yaye. The sister of the mom, Nene. So you will say Nene something. Nene something. Nene something. Or it can be even uh, someone who has a motherly figure in the whole, in the family. A distant relative or a relative that, ha that could be his mom. Okay? Nene Suleiman. Okay, so Nene Suleiman, what will be the answer? Hibe e jam. No Nene, honno Nene Suleiman wadi. Nene Suleiman no e jam. Honno bengure ma wadi. Hibe e jam. So here the hibe, hibe is for the plural and the respect. For the plural and the respect. For here bengure, it will be for the plural. Right? Hibe e jam. Koti rabe ang. Okay. No koti rabe ang wadi. Honno koti rabe ang wadi. Hibe e jam. Okay, 
Kotirabe is the all the brothers. Here is the plural. Faibe, children. Modi, husband. Baba, father. Okay, so this is field work as someone. So this is for the peaceful people. Okay. Uh, I think we stop here for part one of competence three. And then we will... Ah, okay, this is another exercise. Use the vocabulary on page 15 to fill in the blanks. So you will see the relationship of the person, okay? And you will see what what should you feel. What is Amadou uh, compared to Mamadou? Amadou is Mamadou's uh, wife, or Mamadou's dad, okay? Uh, and these are definitely... Uh, these are the, the siblings of Mamadou. This is Mamadou's uh, first wife or second wife. This is one another of his wives. These are the parents of his wife. Okay. And these are his children. These are the children of this wife. These are the children of this wife. So just follow the format that we did before and you should be fine, right? Aliu Kokoto Binta. Aliu Kokoto Binta. Aliu is the older brother of Binta. Binta looks very funny with her braids. Aliu Kokoto Binta. Mamadu. Where is Mamadu? Mamadu. Mamadu. Ko. What is Mamadu as uh, compared to Hanatu? Hanatu. Hanatu. First time I see this name. Okay. Hanatu. Hanatu. Uh, Mamadu is what? Mamadu Ko. Bido. Kobido Hanatu. Mamadu is Hanatu's child. Kobido. Kobido Hanatu. Uh, binta Ejariatu. Binta Ejariatu. Where is Binta? Binta, where are you? Binta is here. <laughs> binta, she looks so funny. Binta and where? Jariatu. Binta eja and Jariatu are what? Kobe. Binta Ejariatu. Binta Ejariatu, Kobe, you remember? Kobe babi, kobe babi rabe, kobe babi rabe, babi rabe. You remember? Babi rabe. Where is it? I need to go up, 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 up. Oh, babi, baba gotobe. Same. Baba gotobe. Kobe baba gotobe. Sorry, better. Baba gotobe. Kobe baba gotobe. Baba gotobe. Okay. They share the same father, but not the same mom. Kobe baba gotobe. Baba Godebe. Uh, Baba Godebe, sorry. Baba Godebe. Uh, where are we? Okay. Kobe Baba Godebe. Uh, where are we? Okay. Isa e Aisata. Isa e Aisata ko. And Mamadu. Isa. Where is Isa? Isa e Aisata. Kobe? Kobe Esirab e Mamadu. Kobe Esirab, they are the in laws of Mamadu. Kobe Esirab e Mamadu. Hawa, Koo? Hawa, where is Hawa? Hawa. Hawa and Usman. Where is Usman? Ah, okay. Hawa and Usman. Hawa and Usman. So Hawa. Are the children? How are the, so? How are is uh, Usman's auntie? How are Koneni Rao Usman? Okay. How are Koneni Rao Usman? How are Konene Usman? Koneni Rao Mako. You so you can say Neni Rao. Neni Rao. Neni Rao, uh, like maternal aunt. Neni Rao. Ko Neni Rao. Neni Rao can mean something else also. Other, as we said, the, the author said, it's very loose. It can mean uh, any person that could be really her mother in the whole. So, but here, specifically, it's just his maternal aunt. Uh, so, you can see Cherno. Uh, where is Cherno? Cherno. 
Cherno and Silu. Where is Silu? That's Cherno. Cherno and Salu. Oh, okay. Cherno, what is Cherno? Uh, what is the relationship between Salu and Cherno? Salu is the brother of Cherno's dad. So, Chali, Salu ko bappa Cherno. So, Cherno ko bito Salu. You remember bito means child, means uh, son, daughter, and nephew. So, Cherno ko bito Salu. Cherno ko bito Salu. Salu ko bappa Cherno. Salu ko bappa Cherno. Salu is the uncle of Cherno. Hanatu ko Amadu. Hanatu and Amadu. Hanatu ko bengo Amadu. Hanatu ko bengo Amadu. Isa ko Isa and Aliu Isa and Aliu uh, sorry oh my god Isa and Aliu Isa and Aliu Aliu where is Aliu Isa and Aliu I don't can say Aliu okay Isa and Aliu Isa and Aliu Isa is the grandfather of Aliu so, uh, uh, Isa is the grandfather of Aliu. Isa ko, uh, Isa ko, ko, ko mama soro. Ko soro. Ko soro Aliu. Okay? Soro. You can mama soro. You can say mama soro. You can say soro. It's the same. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, soro. Grandfather. Okay. Soro. Okay. Soro. Okay. Okay. So we will just continue. D. Uh, where are we? You, you can just continue here. If you have any questions, just drop it in the comments or contact me and then, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 questions and answers. Cherno ko kotira be njelo mari. Ko kotira be go, ko kotira wo. Goto o mari. Kotira wo, kotira be. Kotira wo, goto o mari. Answer the following questions in, in complete sentences. Ko kotira wo, goto o mari. Cherno, Kokotira Benjeluman. How many uh, all the brothers does Cherno have? Cherno has one uh, one older brother. Kotira wo goto. You remember goto is one for counting for people. Okay? Kotira wo goto. Mamma du koreu benjelomari. Okay, interesting here. Reube means women but also here we are, we are saying mamadu how many women does mamadu have here women here means wife wives or oh, wives okay wives how many wives does he have here koreube njolomari okay if you want to use the plural of bengu you remember bengu bengu is wife uh debbo is woman. Reube is the plural of debbo, is we men. Okay? Or wives. Okay? Here we, or wives. Okay? Uh, now, if you want to use the plural of bengu, it will be beinguli. Beinguli. Plural of bengu. Beinguli. Beinguli. Okay, mamma du koreo benjelo mari, mamma du, mamma du koreo benjelo mari, mamma du koreo be, njolo, goo, idi, goo, ido, okay, mamma du koreo be, ido mari, mamma du koreo be, ido mari, aisata, kopi benjelo mari, aisata, 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 kopi benjelo mari, aisata, kopi be tato mari, aisata, kopi be tato mari, goo, ido, tato. Aisata ko bi be tato mari. Aisata ko bi be tato mari. Eh, where is Aisata? Oh. Sorry guys, I'm like 
they lost today and I have some like memory blanks. Mm. I have sleeping issues. I have to admit that. <laughs> I sleep during the day, I wake up at night. So, oh God. Anyway, uh, I, I'm lost. <laughs> It's the weirdest YouTube video ever. I apologize for that. Um, uh, where are we? Oh, it's not here. Oh God. Okay, it's here. I said I could be Mari. I said I could be Tato Mari. Mamma do could be Benjelo Mari. Mamma do could be Benjelo Mari. Mamma do Mamma do be Benjelo Mari. Go or did or Tato Nayo Njo. Could be Benjo Mari. Be Njo. Five. Okay. Uh, Isa kore benjelo mari so check for Isa how a ko minyira benjelo mari cherno ko baba goto be njelo mari interesting huh that's interesting baba goto be nene goto be you remember okay let's go with the numbers fun with numbers part, part two write the following numbers in ciphers uh, no gai ejenai okay write in digits okay no gai ejenai 29. Goto. Goto is what? 1. Chapan etati etati. Ch uh, sorry, chapan etati ejetati. What is it? Check the answer. No gai ejetati. Sapo. Chapan ejetati etati. No gai. Chapan ejenai ejenayo. Tati. Sapo ejenai. Jedidi. Chapan ejedidi. Chapan ejetati ego. Chapan enai edido. Jenai chapan de joy. Okay, let us check these cultural notes. Traditionally, the full bay don't make a big deal out of birth dates, and it is not usual for someone not to be sure exactly how old they are. Exactly, especially the people who live in villages, uh, they they don't know because most of them did not go to school or they are illiterate, so they don't exactly know based on this Gregorian calendar. So they will do approximately based on some events that happened that year or something. Okay. So they don't. Most of them don't exactly know, like in terms of like January sixth, this um, nineteen ninety. Uh, no, they might know the year, but not exactly the same day. Except, of course, people who went to school and people who live in the cities and so on. Yeah. How many of them are? Uh, write a sentence with each of the numbers given. Keep in mind that these are people being counted. Ah, okay. Keep in mind uh, that. Okay. Keep that in mind. Okay. People, the count limugol yimbe, wonawa limugol, wonawa limugol, PG. Counting people is not the same as counting things. Limugol, you remember? Limugol means you count. Okay, four. Kobe nayo. Kobe, for three will be kobe tato. Kobe sapo. Kobe koo. Here you cannot say kobe because it's one. For one, you say koo. Ko o, ko o, ko o goto, ko o goto, ko o goto, four one, okay? Ko be, get di, ko be get do. Sorry, the people ah, don't fall in the trap, okay? And continue and continue, okay? Easy peasy this one. Fill in the blanks. Uh, complete the following dialogue. Ko then ah okay ko honno bem ko honno bem ma in the day bang ang ko honno bem ma ko honno ko honno bem ma in the day what's your dad's name bang ang ko amadu in the day ko honno nene ma in the day nene ma in the day yumma ang Ko Fatumata in the day. Cocotira in yellow, Maruda, you remember? Cocotira in yellow, Maruda. Cocotira goto, me marry. Cocotira goto. You can stop there or you can add Cocotira goto, me marry at the end of goto, okay? Cohonungolata, komi remo. You remember? Okay, easy bit, right? Put the family back together. I think this is the last one or translation drill. Describe the family. Okay, let us uh, quickly finish. Uh, 
put the family back together. Aliu e harisatu koma be kajetu. Ah, okay. Now reconstruct a family tree based on the following information. Okay, you, you remember the family trees that we saw earlier? So now based on this information, you will reconstruct that one. Aliu e harisatu harisatu. First time I see this name. Aliu e harisatu koma be kajetu. Maube means parents. Yeah, komaube kajetu. Maube means all the person, but here maube means parents. Mamadu kosoro alfa isilu. Mamadu is the is the grandfather of alfa and silu. Kajetu e bata kominirabe jang. Jang, this is a name also. Kajetu e bata kominirabe jang. Kajetu and bata are little uh, siblings. Here they are little sisters. Uh, a little siblings of Jang. Samba ko Baba Suri. Samba is the, the dad of Suri. Alpha e Idrisa ko Baba Gotebe. Alpha e Idrisa are half brothers. Uh, they share the same dad only. Idrisa ko Tanira Asiatu. Idrisa is the grandchild of Asiatu. Suri ko 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 Dendang Silva. Ah, okay. Then I said, uh, Anya, first time I see this name also. Anya Ebata, Kosinabe. Remember, I will not give you the answer. Check it out above. Anya Ebata, Kosinabe. Same first time I see this name also. Bata, Kosinabe. Selwe Alpha, Kobib Ebata. Jang, Kokao Selwe. Okay? Habi konene sorry modi 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 bata kobi do asiatu modi bata the husband of bata is asiatu's son baba modi the father of oh sorry baba modi habi komamadu the father of uh, habi's husband is mamadu saliu kobapa idrisa Minyan kajadu ko bengu sajo. Modi habi ko minyan saliu. Modi anya kokoto samba. So use this information. If you have any problems, as I said, contact me. Okay? Uh, use this information to, to reconstruct the family tree. Okay, translation drill. Put the following into plural. How many younger brothers and sisters do you have? Ko minyi rab enjalo maruba. How old are you? Easy peasy. Ko du bi jelu. Do be jello. You don't say ko do be njalo. Njalo is for how many but for people. But for things and animals and stuff, you say uh, jello. Njalo, jello. Njalo, jello. How old are you? Ko do be jello, Maruda. He is 53 years old. Ko, 53, how to say that? Go up. Chapande e, jovi. Kodu bi chapan de jovi omari. Kodu bi chapan de jovi omari. Kodu bi chapan de. Uh, sorry, uh, 53. I forgot about the three. Kodu bi chapan de jovi e 30. Chap, chapan de jovi is 50. 53 chapan de jovi e 30. Okay? How old is their father? Kodu bi jolu babe mape mari. Okay? So. Based on the vocabulary above, okay, do your own thing, okay. Uh, describe this family now. Give them names and occupations and tell how they are related. So this also is some practice for you, okay, and all the best for that. Okay, that's the end of competent three. Onjarama, Onjarama Fota. Uh, thank you very much, Onjara Mafota. Ensi Burido, Ensi Burido, see you soon, God willing. Okay? Ensi Burido, Onjara Ma, Onjara Ma, Miweltike, I'm happy, Miweltike, Miweltike, Onjara Ma, and see you soon for competence four. It will be about what? As I said, if you have any questions, if you have, you know, Feel free to ask about everything, to comment, to, you know.
Kohonduni, what's this? We will talk about places and things. Okay? Thank you guys and see you soon. Unjarama, unjarama, and see Purido. See you later. Bye. Unjarama. Uh, okay.